Blessings and love, beautiful beings. This is Maruma too, and you are watching Sun Soul Astrology on YouTube. If you would like to get daily planetary translations by me, please go to sunsoul.tv. I do daily planetary translations as well as star seed lineage information as the planets transit every day. It's very in-depth. I've been here on Sun Soul TV for two years in January and on YouTube for almost three. So definitely check it out. There's a catalog going back two years. If you would like to become a monthly subscriber, you're welcome to do that as well is if you would like to just check it out for 24 hours and watch as many videos as possible. It's just $2 per day. All right. So another piece of information that I would like to share with you is that I am going to be doing a Black Friday special. And this special is going to be launching at midnight on the 29th. Okay. So just going into the 29th, it's going to end just exiting at 11. 59 p.m. So definitely go there because what I'm going to be doing is including a free Starseed PDF, which is normally an additional add on of $75. Plus, you're going to get $25 off of my hour consultation. So you're saving a hundred bucks right there. And it is live on the site, sunsoulastrology.com, but it is going to show this sold out button until it is live for sale. Okay, so definitely hook it up. I do two charts in this reading. We we meet one-on-one -on -one through Zoom, and I could do your natal chart, progressed, draconic, sinistry, your solar, lunar, or Saturn returns, transits, absolutely, your aspects and patterns, and also retrograde planets. So hook it up as it is only going to be a 24-hour flash sale for Black Friday. And again, that is available at sunsoulastrology.com. All right. So as far as the moon goes today, starting off the morning, the moon is going to be squaring to Neptune retrograde in the sign of Pisces. So moon squaring to Neptune will definitely bring up some questions about security and insecurities as we're just coming off of a new moon in Sagittarius. And this moon is going to be hitting the great attractor pretty early in the morning. And that is actually going to be happening at about 2 a.m. Pacific. The great attractor, for any of you who are curious, is the biggest space anomaly that we are aware of. And it is something that really amplifies magnetism. Okay, it's it's a love or hate type of situation whenever planets go through the great attractor, but absolutely it does activate missions. So as the mission is activated and we started a new session and we square to Neptune, uh, we're going to be questioning our choices and our decisions at this particular moment and asking ourselves what we truly do believe. You know, is that really our spiritual connection? Is this the path that I'm absolutely going to walk? Because remember that Pisces is Christ consciousness. It's the dream world. It's our imagination, right? It's everything that's unseen and non-physical. But Sagittarius is about our beliefs and our destiny and our philosophies, what we believe to be true. So there is going to be some questions about the spiritual process and if we're kind of crazy or not, right? Because the moon has been activating a lot of our psychic intuitions. And we may be of, be experiencing things that are a little bit outside of the realm of normalcy. All right. So predominantly up until the early evening, the moon is going to be in a semi-square to Mars, who is in the sign of Scorpio. So this could definitely be some irritating energy that pops up, uh, especially if we're not getting our way and things feel a little bit out of control. This could definitely bring up those things where we're really excited about a project or a person, and that person is a little bit distracted with other things, causing us to feel like we really need to rein them in or control uh, their attention a little bit more. Now, 
the moon is going to begin to conjunct to Jupiter. It's going to come exact on the 28th, just about 3 a.m. So we'll talk about that continuing tomorrow. But Jupiter expands everything it touches, right? And it's still in a conjunction with Venus. Jupiter is actually getting ready to leave the sign of Sagittarius and move into Capricorn. Um, and that's just an FYI. That's something we're going to be talking about a lot on Sun Soul TV daily. But um, the moon's conjunction is going to expand our emotional perceptions and feelings. But this is actually going to give us this knowledge of hope and optimism at the same time because we know that things are going to be okay and it's going to be okay because we're paying attention and we're working towards something bigger and better for ourselves as well we are you know not just focused on problems we're focused on the solutions and what comes after that so yes jupiter does expand things in both positive and negative ways it doesn't really have this i mean it is a beneficial planet uh, but at the same time it's not too concerned about whether we perceive its benefits of expansion to be positive or negative and sometimes we do need to have a bit of a trigger thrown into our path in order to go towards something a little bit different and a little bit more sustainable for us. Now, as we go into the afternoon, of course, also going through tomorrow, the moon is going to be conjuncting to Venus, and that is a very awesome experience because Venus and the moon really do love each other, so it is going to pick up this energy of love and beauty. And as well, the moon will finally transit into the galactic center and move outside of time and space. And that's going to be around 8 p.m. But just before that, around 7, it's going to square to Chiron retrograde in the sign of Aries. So this is going to show us that, you know, there's a, there's a, di a dynamic today going on with the moon. And that's absolutely a kind of this high and low vibration there's there's a lot of goodness okay so we have to really look at what is i should say more so where are where is our attention at okay because if we're putting our attention and energy into people or projects that we are no longer meant to interact with then the strain and the stress of the semi sex or semi square to mars and the square to chiron are going to be uncomfortable Okay, because we have to heal uh, through our emotions in the sense of optimism. If we're believing ourselves to be in some really tough situations and that we don't have ways out, that's going to really uh, trigger that Chiron and Aries, the wounded self identity, to feel kind of salty about things. And remember, whenever we deal with the sign of Aries, there is a component and an element of our ego. And so our emotional ego kind of being wounded by having to realize that we put a lot of um, energy and time into projects and people that are not a part of this next session of time. But at the same time, there's a lot of people in our lives and a lot of projects that have been going on that are very much worth it. And these opportunities are very much going to be a part of our present day-to-day -day experiences. Now, uh, leaving the 27th today, uh, the moon is going to begin to try into Uranus. We'll talk more about that tomorrow. And the moon will move into the sign of Capricorn around 4.33 a.m. Pacific on the 28th, okay? So we'll pick up the conversation about the moon trining to Uranus tomorrow, but that definitely brings up uh, some quantum leaps in our emotional spectrum gives us some new and fresh ideas about how to be innovative and how to roll with the changes of the tides. All right, so just as a recap, today is kind of a mixed bag of positive and also a bit strained feelings, depending on if we are trying to over control situations and put our ego too much into uh, the outcome. All right, my philosophy is always no expectations and no conditions. Just let things be as they are. That doesn't mean that we don't need to practice uh, putting some sort of effort and action behind our decisions. But at the same time, it means that we are open to the universe presenting us with some beautiful experiences that we cannot plan. 
All right. So enjoy the moon going through the great attractor and the galactic center, getting a rewrite as Jupiter and Venus are, have just really done a lot of work here in this place that's outside of time and space. And of course, if we are looking for a new sense of galactic love with ourselves and our relationships, that is so very much a part of this equation. All right. I will see you tomorrow. And again, please go to sunsoul.tv in order to become a monthly subscriber or enjoy viewing for the day for $2. And also definitely take advantage of the Black Friday sale happening tomorrow, the 20 or excuse me, <laughs> day after tomorrow, November 29th. All right complimentary starseed PDF, aka free, with $25 off of a one-hour consultation. And also that includes the immediate booking option if any of you are aware of it. Okay, so love you so much. God bless. Pray to me, absorb my life. Let me illuminate you, close your eyes.